Hi, I'm Bob Boros, and this is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. We're here again today for another installment of Monday Maddox. Every Monday I demonstrate one of the technique exercises for jazz dance created by one of the legends of jazz dance, Matt Maddox. Matt created a technique that uh, drew from both ballet and from modern dance and also from aspects of jazz dance and put it all together in a very uh, distinct training system um, that defined the body in a very precise way. So as you'll see from the exercises we do, they're very particular in how they're executed. Today we are going to do a hip isolation. Um, he has a couple different versions of hips. This is probably the most simple one. The, the pattern will be right front, left back, left front, right back. But as usual with Matt, there's always coordinated arm movements that go along with the actual isolation. Matt was always about creating complexity in movement and also to create coordination within the dancer. So here we go. We're going to do our first hip isolation from the freestyle jazz dance technique of Matt Maddox. Okay, we start with the feet together, turning at the ballet first, and then opening to jazz first, parallel feet. Always when we move the hips, we must bend the knees, come into demi-plie, keep the knees straight over the toes, keep the pelvis level. It's always in this position. Now the basic hip isolation starts with contracting muscles on the side to lift that side of the pelvis up. The knee will straighten slightly and then the other side is dropping down. I want to reverse it to the other side. I want to contract on the side. I want to drop the other pelvis. This knee will slightly straighten. If I come to the front, I contract and tuck the pelvis under in front. If I go to the back, I swing the pelvis back, but always staying in the demi-plie and not letting the weight scoot out too much, okay? So from our initial pattern, we have the diamond shape, right, front, left, back, and reverse. Left, front, right, back. Once again, right, contract front, contract side left, swing back, left, front, right, and back. The second part of the isolation is a side-to-side -side pattern. We go to the right, to the left, contract front and back, then reverse that left and right to the back and the front. It's a little tricky to go to the back. So once again, right and left and front and back, left and right and back and front. So I put that whole isolation together, right and front, left and back, left and front, right and back. Then right and left, front, back, left and right, back, front. So what you can do is just practice the hips on their own. Make sure you've got that nice demi-plie with the chest staying still till you know that pattern very well. Once you have that, then we add coordinated arm movements. Always start in second position. On the first count, the arms fold in to the neutral position. So that's very sharply right and front and left, then straight up with the palms forward, back. Left and front and right, return to second, back. Then we have right and left, nothing happening, then front, back, then left and right, nothing happening, and then back, front. So that the arm part, uh, pattern is right and front and left and back, left and front and right and back, right and left, front, back, left and right, back, front. It's a little bit tricky, especially when you put it together with the hips. So that action slowly would be right, front, left, back, left, front, right, back, right, left, front, back, left, right, back, and front. It's very tricky. All right, so let's put it together a little bit faster. Six, seven, eight. It's right and front and left and back, left and front and right and back, right and left, front, back, left and right, back, front, with the palms flat to the front. Okay, so that's the initial way of doing this hip isolation with the coordinated arm movements. The next step up in complexity, we're going to alternate the arms. So towards the end, instead of both arms in and out, there's going to be a little bit of a follow-up. The right arm will start, then the left arm follows and opens. Then on the reverse, the left arm will start, the right arm will follow and then open. So we would have right and front and left and back, left and front and right and back, 
right, left, front, back, left, right, back, front. That leaves us with one arm bent in and one open. To begin the next set, you only fold in one arm. Right and front and left and back, left and front and right and back, right and left, front, back, left and right, back and front. So as you can see, there's a lot of complexity to that. There's actually a head isolation that goes with that, but we're not gonna work on that in this video. We'll save that for another video. So that is the opening hip isolation from the Matematics Freestyle Jazz Dance Technique. It's something that you need to practice because of the complexity, not only in how you work your isolation of the pelvis, but how you work the complex arms that go along with it. Uh, my name is Bob Boros, and this is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. I want to um, acknowledge all of my new subscribers. We recently broke 1,600 subscribers, which is doubling of where I started way back in January, and that's amazing. Usually there's three to five new subscribers every day. Um, and that's just great. So if you're new to the channel and watching this, please subscribe. Also click that notifications bell so you'll always be notified of when I put a new video up to the channel. Um, so again, this is, I'm Bob Boros and this is my jazz and tap dance life and we'll see you in the next video.